Okay, so how's the day been so far, guys? Pretty hot. good. Hot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just got off stage with Lawson Raptor, so uh, pretty tired now. So, and you are on later on. What time are you? 6.10. Yeah, 6.10. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. How would you usually deal with the heat in a situation like today when you're playing a festival? Uh, fierce. <laughs> I guess. So this is probably not the right festival for you guys. No, this is awesome. Um, no, yeah, it's awesome here, but we, I don't know, we played a few shows in the last, I don't know, it was like a home bake or something that we played last in December, and I remember walking off stage on that thing and I thought I was going to uh, yeah. pass out. Yeah. I'm not fit enough anymore. And, yeah. <laughs> So there's not too much prep leading into a hot Australian summer of festivals, is there? Uh, no. no, not really. <laughs> Just try to wing it. <laughs> okay, so 2013 is pretty busy for you guys with an Australian tour. Um, Groove in the Mood and supporting the Bronx. Yeah. So when you summarise it like that, is it daunting at all? No, not really. I think it's only like third. 20 shows or something? Yeah, it's not too bad, like it's, it's like something we've been, it's like kind of like a dream sort of run of shows for us to sort of wrap up our album. Um, and like the Bronx one of our favourite bands ever and we, they were, you know, a major influence for us when we started this band so getting to open for them is going to be yeah, incredible. So um, you, you mentioned the album, where's that at the moment? Um, for the second one we've just started writing for it, we've just spent two weeks out in Yass at a big house out in the country just writing songs. Yeah. We're about halfway I think through songs. Yeah. And so you guys had a pretty big 2012. Uh, what was the main highlight for you guys? Uh, I think it's just the overseas stuff. Like, but then, you know, everything was... I don't know, there wasn't really anything that was shit. <laughs> yeah. Everything was quite, like, great. Like, How was great. the Foo Fighters oh, support? Yeah, yeah, that was, that was, that was incredible. Did you get to meet Dave? Or? Yeah, yeah, we got to meet them all. Um, it was rad, man. It was really weird. <laughs> It was, we weren't expecting, you know, I mean, well, we weren't used to anything like that. Like, they had a big catering tent and stuff, so we'd roll in. We heard it's, it's pretty hard to get past these goons. How did you manage that? Oh. Friends with Ray, man. Yeah. <laughs> Just go up and ask him. Oh, that's good. Um, okay, so the whole thrash punk genre has sort of been reinvigorated over the last couple of years. What do you think that is? I don't know. Um, I, I don't really class us as thrash punk, but like. So it's thrash? Yeah, like, it's like thrashy sort of, I guess, like pop. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, it's just great to have that sort of like, coming back to something that's a bit heavier again, and um, like I know metal and, 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 and hardcore's always been there, um, but like, you know, stuff that's maybe more like, accessible, yeah, accessible and outside of the circles of like punk and hardcore circles, um, that's heavy, because you know, that's what, that's what we grew up listening to heavy music, um, and we grew up in a small town, so we, what we had was what we saw on like Rage or like what our friends gave us as CDs. You know, so like, you know, Metallica and Megadeth and stuff like that was what we grew up on. So you mentioned the Bronx, what other sort of bands are you into at the moment? At the moment, I've just been listening to like Elton John and Megadeth. <laughs> oh, They're pretty year. similar. Yeah. yeah. Last year we listened to um, the album by Metz, Canadian band. Um, they did a really awesome record last year, and so we um, we slammed that one. Um, Japan Joy's record, was a big one for us last year as well. Which is, it was just a cool record, like especially when you're driving around, you know, Europe and stuff. It's like a good one to listen to in the band. Um, is there any bill you think you don't fit on? Uh, do you ever get called up and you know, and you think to yourself, wow, they want us to play this? Do we really fit uh, on them? Oh, we've done some weird stuff. Yeah, there's always there's always things that you you play and you're like, oh, I don't know if it really works. Like. Yeah. But yeah, but, you know, we've done everything from playing with like hardcore bands, rock bands, to dance bands, bands, bands DJs, bands electronic stuff. And sort of stuff. So yeah, like we did that tour in the UK with like a pop artist. Like we were opening, and that was just weird because you know, if people, if the only people who came to saw us were like were the people that actually wanted to see us. Like no one followed to come see us early because they, the genres were so far apart. You know, so. 
But yeah, we we'll sort of just go with it. So, what's your uh, fan base like overseas? Um, it's getting there. I don't know. The UK was pretty good at the start. Like we just sort of picked up really quickly, um, and then we were able to tour over there and do some headline shows. Um, not like they're big or anything, but just like you know, a couple, you know, hundred people or whatever, and each each town or whatever. And so yeah, it was fun. Like just straight up. Um, and then the states a bit harder. It's so big and everywhere is so different. Like each city. Um, we two were there. We did like three months over there last year, and yeah, got to get in front of some. Uh, new fans and stuff like we did the Bass Drum Death Tour. Um, so, yeah, it's slowly growing. Um, we just, it's just that thing of you just gotta keep going back somewhere and keep pushing, keep touring. It's the only way. Well, for us, it is. And I suppose with the United States and the UK tour, what was the most weirdest or unique spot you played a show at? Um, yeah, we did a we did a festival called the Perfect Day in uh, Villa Franca, and we got to play inside like a, an old castle, and it was crazy. It was like, I, I, yeah, it was weird because it was the first time we'd been to Italy, and on the bill it was only like four bands a day on this huge stage. It was us, Tampa Trap, uh, yeah, was the Killers, and someone else, like just these massive bands, and then we were on there for some reason. Yeah, yeah. it was insane. It was sweet. It was fun. Speaking of the massive bands, do you ever get someone come up to you and go, wow, we really like your band and sort of, you know, they're a big famous front man or something like that? Have you experienced anything like that? No, I guess I'm only doing that Foo Fighters stuff, you know, like, Jack Black, yeah, Jack Black, he came to like, watch all of our shows and high five us when we came off stage and that was pretty fun. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for speaking to AMH TV today, guys. No worries, thank thanks you. Thanks for having us. Cheers.